the end of the world as AI sees it. This is about as creepy as it gets. These AI generated images depict the last day on earth, known as the last selfie on earth, taken from perspective of people taking a selfie during the final moments of the apocalypse. This is the ultimate in illustrating science creepypasta. Doll E2 by OpenAI is the cutting edge AI that lets users simply type up anything. Literally anything, barring, you know, explicit stuff. It will conjure up an image for you instantly. In this case, the user input, quote, people taking selfies during apocalypse, got these. The images are gruesome and depict how AI envisions what the end of the world will look like when it ends. But what makes it weird is how AI envisions people taking selfies as everything is crumbling around them. What's interesting about these images though, and really eerie, is that the state of the people themselves appear to be either fully skeletal or in extremely bad shape, implying that the AI guesses that humankind will not even be around to see the end of the world. This means that in the eyes of AI, we're gone long before the world actually ends, or at least are in really shoddy shape by the time we get there. This particular AI, Dolly 2, is under high demand. There are over a million people on the waiting list to use it, and I am one of them. This image depicts a man who is in complete horror, with Armageddon happening right behind him. This is one of the more realistic ones, and he looks like he's been through hell, yet he still manages to take a selfie. The next one shows a human who's definitely been through the mill, very skeletal. However, the background in this one looks as if the earth has already been scorched, with the clouds being the remnants left over from everything burning up. This is a similar image with a skeletal looking person. The fire is still burning, but the earth looks pretty scorched by this time. And yet another one, this person, I couldn't even imagine what happened to them. They look pretty darn charred as it is, but they still have their hair. And it looks like this is right as the burning is going down. Very creepy stuff indeed. Here's one where they captured a whole bunch of people. Looks like the earth was already smoldering by this time. And while their clothes remained intact, or maybe they found them, they look fully skeletal. This is another one and he has emotion in his eyes. Looks like the earth has already been scorched and he's just kind of among the scorching of the earth at this point. So the next question you're probably asking is, could I do this myself? Well, I'm here to give you the good news to let you know, yes, you can. Aside from making it past the really long wait list for the Doll E2, it can already be done right now for free using Doll E Mini. Take a look in the description, I have left a link. The result in Doll E Mini is not as photorealistic as that in Doll E 2, and oftentimes it could look like a really bad artist's rendition. But still, the results are very entertaining, and in the right context could be used for something. Plus, the fact that we could do it right now makes for a lot of fun. Take for instance, imagine a world where Mike Bloomberg actually loosens up. Wow, impossible. How about Slash eating lemons? Let's see the AI envisioning the Shizu riding a motorcycle. This makes for an instant classic. So I decided to put Doll E Mini to the test. So I typed in selfie during apocalypse. And lo and behold, Doll E Mini envisioned a similar outlook. Doll E Mini actually generates a series of images. I think Dolly 2 works in a similar fashion. Some are better than others. What's interesting about this is this is an entirely different AI system, and yet we end up with a similar outlook. The humans look skeletal and creepy, and what's going behind them looks a lot like what we saw in the famous Dolly 2 versions. I figured I'd take it a step further then, inject a bit of humor, and see what dogs taking selfies during the apocalypse would look like. They seem pretty happy and put together, so chances are, according to the AI, maybe the dogs outlived us and actually did pretty well. As a matter of fact, they don't even seem to be bothered by the whole apocalypse thing. Maybe they took our ideas and had a place to split after the end of the world festivities. In that case, maybe selfies would serve a purpose after all. The next experiment then popped into my head. Police jumping on cars during the apocalypse. These seem quite surreal suggesting the AI had to really scrape its brain to envision police during this time. Again, this implies that maybe humans will not be around, 
and the existence of police is really a far-fetched idea. Which brings me to the grand finale, politicians giving each other a high five during the apocalypse. Now in this case, the politicians look fairly well put together, suggesting the AI envisions them to be just fine, so maybe the politicians and the dogs managed to survive it. It couldn't go without at least one meme to sum it all up. Politicians high-fiving, saying, we did it. That's just about right. Thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. It really does help. Now you are in the family. I hope you get a chance to try out the Doll E Mini. If you do, tell us all about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.